Deep brain stimulation involves placing electrodes deep in the brain and connecting those electrodes to a pacemaker device. That device allows us to fine tune certain parts of the brain that are abnormal in diseases like Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative condition that affects predominantly a part of the brain that makes dopamine. Treatment options for Parkinson's disease include lifestyle changes, prescription medications, and surgical options. For some patients, the next option to consider is deep brain stimulation surgery. Deep brain stimulation is used in patients who have previously responded to medication and is certainly not one of the initial therapies that we use for Parkinson's disease. Studies that we've done here at OHSU and elsewhere in the country, we have shown convincingly that deep brain stimulation improves many of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. We've spent many years refining the procedures so that the risks are as small as possible. After the electrodes are implanted and the generator has been implanted, then the real work begins. And at that point, the initial programming of the generator starts. Probably about three months is where we'd expect someone to resume something close to normal activities, or at least the maximum activities for them. We've been doing deep brain stimulation at OHSU since around 1990. We now know that we can confidently predict that someone that has deep brain stimulation for Parkinson's disease will be better. We also know that the risks of the surgery are low and the outcome is very positive. And this is why it's so rewarding for myself as a surgeon to see patients and the transformation that occurs before and after surgery.